In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your Ubuntu server into a web server. Hello. I hope your day is going very well and welcome back to my channel. To convert your Ubuntu server into a web server, there are two variants of packages. Number one is Engmix, and the second one is Apache. You can install any of them, but only one. You can see the comparison on the screen. So if you think Apache is good option according to your requirements, then install Apache. Or if you think Nginx is going to be a better option, then install Nginx. By the way, for this comparison, credit goes to server guy. Thank you for sharing this comparison. Let's start the installation of Apache. First, update the Ubuntu server by typing the command apt update. If you're logged in as root, otherwise type sudo in the start of the command. It can take from few seconds to minutes depending on your internet speed and hardware resources. Then type this command to install Apache server. After the installation, we need to start the Apache service on the server. And then enable the service. By the way, you can find all the commands in the description. Okay, the service is up and running. Let's check this in the web browser to verify if it's installed properly. Type your server IP address and it should show this interface. This is the default page of Apache 2. Until we upload our web pages on the server, I will show how to do that in this video as well so far if you like the video. Make sure to hit the like button. Let me show you how you can copy your web pages into the server. To copy the file from your computer to the server, you need a tool called WinSCP. It's a free tool. You can download it from their official website for free. Once you have downloaded this application, Install it on your computer and make sure you are logged into your Windows as administrator. Also, you have SSH installed your Ubuntu server and have a username and password with you. This is the WinSCP, what you see on the screen right now. You put the server IP address in the host name, then the username and password. Also, you can save your sessions as well. So, that way you don't need to type IP username and password again and again. Once you are logged in successfully, you will see some interfaces like this. Left and right tab. So the left tab is your computer files and right tab is the server files. You need to go the folder var, www and html, that's the folder where we will upload our files. You can delete this index file, but I am just going to rename it because Apache picks up index file as the landing page of your website. So I am going to make a HTML page to show you guys that how we can upload our files and how it works. Okay, so I created a HTML page for example. Let me upload this here in the server and show you. You just need to drag and drop your files to the HTML folder in your Ubuntu server. Now, you can see we have our index file here in the Ubuntu server. Let's go back to the web browser and refresh the page. So, you can see now it's updated and showing me the page. What I uploaded. So, that way you can upload your whole website into that folder. This was the basic version of converting your Ubuntu server into a web server in upcoming videos, we will learn more about it. Also, the special video is going to relate it to the WordPress. We will install WordPress on the Ubuntu server step by step. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and ring the bell icon to get notifications of my all upcoming videos. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. It's not a game, it's a